Hey guys, it's the night before Easter. I'm coming on here early because I'm doing a lot of food prepping tonight. I am basically going to be our own private chef tomorrow. I have a full breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I feel like this is going to be like our first time celebrating it just like us two. I feel like this Easter feels so different for us for a lot of different reasons. We just got back from Target and Whole Foods. I had to pick up some things for the menu. There's one thing that I'm really excited about that I know Ryan's gonna absolutely love. And I'm not gonna say it out loud because he's sitting right there and I wanted to be a little surprised. And this is a very woman adult purchase. This is like my first meat, big meat, big girl meat purchase. I'm excited about this and tomorrow I have to wake up at like 5 a.m. to start this but i got all these like cute little things and i'm gonna set the table up so cute i'm making the liquid mixture that i need to pour on top of this okay now we let this sit in the fridge overnight good morning guys happy easter i got up around like 6 6 15 because i needed to shower it's 6 50 now i told ryan good morning but i told him to just like still sleep because i'm about to throw my french toast casserole in the oven because it takes about like 45 minutes to an hour and i have to prep my meat for dinner tonight go ahead and put that in the crock pot so we have the topping which is like the crumbly stuff that we put on top He left those in our closets so that we could put them on the island. Yeah. It smells amazing out does here. It, does it smell good? Because yeah. I can't smell anything. Yeah, you left me in there and then I just woke up like... <laughs> good, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm cooking. I'm so excited. I hope that it turns out good. It's gonna smell like that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. I know I kind of talked to you guys last night a little bit because I was preparing. But today's Easter. Happy Easter. We hope you guys have an amazing time with friends, family, your partner, yeah, we your did. fur babies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing this year. Yeah, we, we're celebrating four. We're celebrating just us four this year. Something where we could like create new traditions. Mm -hmm. But I need to start on the omelets now because what I have is almost done. That looks crazy. What is that? French toast casserole. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Right? I'm so excited. I've never had French toast casserole. That's for breakfast? Vanilla. Yeah. Yo, what the freak? What the hell are we having for the rest of the day? Thank you, my love. Thank you. Wow, this is beautiful. Aww, Thank you. I don't think I've ever woken up on an Easter morning and eaten like this. Um, we are going to start our day with Jesus. And we are going to read our devotional book before we eat. I got to just dive into it. Oh my gosh, you hear that crisp? Wow, that was good. Mm. Mm. You did Yay. that. That's the best French toast I ever think I've ever had in my life. I hope you gave them the recipe. That's the big. I know I've had some good French toast. Accomplishment. Cause Ryan, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like French toast, and I love this. That's something you gonna lick the bowl to. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna be opening my Easter basket from my husband. <laughs> I don't know why the flowers died. <laughs> the flowers died though. It's Look fine. at this. Candy. Oh, I got some good candies in here. The mini M&Ms are always... <gasps> That's so cute! It's, it's glass, glass too? 
Yeah. Wow, Nutella. Pretzels, I swear, are my favorite snack. Oh, are these like Oreos? Cotton candy. Reese's? This is what I want to get into. A pound? <laughs> this is actually a pound of yeah. Reese's? You know those chocolates that aren't like, like, hollow? stuffed? Yeah, that hollow? This one's stuffed with peanut butter. Like a Reese's I'm going to make myself sick. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, hold on. What the heck? Why are you standing up? Because I'm oh, so girl. shook. Girl. Don't, first of all, don't, don't surpass this. What you doing? I know, I'm scared of it, okay? How do you know about this? TikTok. <laughs> Dude, should I open this? Yeah, open it. Oh, why I you do it? Why do you do that? <gasps> wow, that's pretty. They're always so bougie yeah, with the packaging. I love the packaging. Yeah. This is like every spring summer night scent. I love it. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. Wait, how do you know about this? <laughs> okay, this one's crazy. You, this, this is crazy. Our oh movie nights are about to be elite. I swear, I swear. Oh my god! It doesn't stop. Ryan. It doesn't stop. You're kidding. I know when you come back from being out of recovery. And you're able to lift and run it again. Oh. I got your little running set. Wait, there's one more thing for it. Yeah, right there. <gasps> you're kidding. Little running jacket. I know it rains you down here a lot. You are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing to me? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> Another one, Ryan? Are you kidding? <gasps> no, really? <laughs> I know you've been needing one. I. Ryan. I hope you love it. I love the little chain on this. I know you would love that. Yes, and it matches with my with my purse that you got me. Yeah. Thank you. Is that it? Is it? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're. Go one more, one more. Socks to go with my outfit. Wait, Ryan, what is wrong with you? A lip oil and bubble cream. <laughs> Oh, that smells so good. Y'all, this is it, right? I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh my gosh. No. I already know this is a sunny box, so. I want to get your spring little collection going. Oh, wow. <laughs> was that a good wow? These are so different. Is that a good wow? Girl, don't play with them. Don't play with me. Don't play with them. Okay, Wait. Miss Fontana stepping out. Wait, these are cute! Yes, I don't want you to open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now you're on this? Oh my god. If you don't like them, like I said, we can exchange I them. I don't like them. I don't have nothing like this. Oh, they That's the thing with me and Montana is like, we're going to be straight. So if she don't like them to buy tomorrow, we're going to take them back and exchange them. You just let me know. But I like these because they're different. Opening the Easter basket, my wife got me. We already going to go ahead and take these out. <laughs> Cause, uh, can we get this open now? Cause I need some. <laughs> Rice crispy strawberry. Ooh, the jelly bean sour patch. What's these eggs? <laughs> That's a cute idea. Tennis balls. I knew I saw a tennis <laughs> racket. <laughs> oh, I literally, did you get another racket? Or we got the bottom? Yeah, I got another one. You got one? Yeah. I've literally been wanting, we literally have a tennis court at our complex and we don't ever use it because we're not tennis rackets. I've been saying I wanted this for a minute. Ooh, and it comes with white chocolate. Yeah, sorty greasy. Ooh, bunny shape? Yeah. Oh, when I saw Cholis, I'm like, Cholis the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how you look that man up like that is crazy. Yo, I love this. He needed a new headset, so. Yeah, because somebody stole mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really did need a new headset for my PlayStation 2. Yeah. Dang, that's fine how you did that. You could grow up. Look right. at that. <laughs> Aww. I like that. You know damn well that stuff then will gonna be Kios. Right. <laughs> we got candy for days. <laughs> An Alani? Okay. Tom Ford? Okay, this Tom Ford. This one I'm really excited about, okay? okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, this this smell, I want Rich. to prepare you. <laughs> is like nothing you have. I wasn't gonna do this one because I was like unsure, but I love it. I love it. It's their like newest collection. Am I tripping? What does it smell like? I smell like it. Like? I smell I don't it. smell it. S spray like, um. You spray it on you. For some reason I smell it better when it's on you. Is it cinnamon? Mm -hmm. It is cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, then I am smelling it right. <laughs> you like it. Oh! That's 
So, <laughs> I'm not gonna count. That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. Wait, you like it or no? It's like maybe it has to just like work. Maybe it's better. It's kind of like a woodsy. It's supposed to be like a woodsy cinnamon. Like it's different I than. Just smell I smell cinnamon. It has. It has cinnamon, <laughs> ginger, like woodsy. I'm gonna have to try it out, like on clothes as long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I don't got no navy blue either. Yeah, you hooked it up with this one. I don't have no hoodies of these either. Right. Fire. Oh wait, I do have. I have one more thing. Hold on. Here, get me. Forgot. No! <laughs> Keo, come here, buddy. It's hunting season. <laughs> this is fire. We have a Fortnite war. <laughs> this is tough. Church started. cleaning up a little bit, but the 9.30 service started, we watch Elevation, Elevation Church, their main campus is actually where I grew up in Valentine, in like Charlotte area, um, so we're watching Stephen Furtick, so his earthly mission, it literally just started, so we're gonna watch this, okay guys, we're about to go down to the pool, because we really don't have anything to do, we just want to take the day to chill, so these are the OOTVs. Plus Montana hasn't gotten sun in two weeks. No, like three weeks. Three months. <laughs> since Dubai. Can you guys see? You haven't gotten you haven't gotten sun since Dubai. I just need some sun. I have a book, I have a snack, and hopefully the pool's not too packed. I don't think it's gonna be too packed, so let's go. We have our spring towels, our new spring towels. Hey guys, oh my gosh, can you see my bikini? <laughs> the strap is probably looking naked for a second. Um, but we're cooking out here. We've been out here for a little bit now, and I, I fell asleep, and I think I'm burnt. Like I can't tell, but like I look a little red. And Ryan said that he's turning. I their white <laughs> it feels so good to be in the sun. It's crazy. Like sometimes when I used to tan, I would like feel so like gross and like groggy, but it feels so good to be outside and I feel like it's weird because like every day I've been telling myself like oh it's probably too much for me to go tan and today just like felt this like is such what you needed, though. yeah this I'm telling y'all like I swear I feel like season one season of depression and then two if you're down sad depressed whatever like I haven't seen sun, sun and like sun. I swear it's like sucks the life like out of me like life is like but today, out of all days, it feels like amazing. Living in an apartment complex and, and then doing like house hunting and just like going to find our house that we want to live in yeah. really, uh, really makes me not like apartment living. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, it really like you see all the flaws in apartment living. Yes. Like there's so many good things, but then once you start looking at houses and being like in that mindset of things. Yeah. There's a lot of things, a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we haven't talked about that has happened while living here. And That's true too. To be honest, like I think that maybe one day we'll talk about it. When we get out of here. Yeah, when we get out of here. We're being grateful for the things that we have, not focusing on the things that we don't have yet. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels so good. Wow. Ah, sun. I had every intention today to put on makeup and put on a cute outfit, but we're just feeling like cozy. And honestly, I feel really pretty after being outside. Like I actually have like some color to me, so I feel pretty. I'm preparing dinner. I was supposed to do like a mid-afternoon snack, but since we went outside, I was like, maybe I'll just do it tonight with dessert and just have like a little snacky night. I'm making the Brussels sprouts, glaze that I'm making, and then I'm about to start boiling the mashed potatoes so that I can make the mashed potatoes. And then I'm so curious about this meat because it's smelling. So good. So if this turns out good, I'm really proud of myself. While I'm cooking this, I was like, let's cut it. Let's cut this open. It's a okay. lot. Yes. It's heavy. Now that's a that's a bunny. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's so good. Wow. Okay, we waited all day for this. It's time to take it out. You see that? <gasps> what? Yes. Ah! I'm so happy. It's literally just falling apart. I can just break it up in here. <gasps> ow. Oh, ow. Can I just burn myself? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful, guys. Now, obviously, it came out good, but does it taste good? <laughs> okay. I might add a little, like, some, some on top. Let's try the mashed potatoes. This is the plea. Garlic mashed potatoes with a roast chuck shredded beef with onions and garlic. And then we have honey balsamic Brussels sprouts. You like it? Wow, that's so good. Wait. Right. Wow, that's so good. Yes. Kind of with the onion. I just did. Um, is it good? Yes. Oh, shoot. That's the stuff. This is an Easter dinner. This is probably the best Easter I've ever had. I'm so serious. Other than the Easter that, we the have. one Easter that we had in 2017, but. Wow. Oh my goodness. I just can't wait to be like a big family and we're just like, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Because I already know like it's accomplishing and it feels good to like cook the food and it's really good. Let's just say next year when we're uh, not here for Easter, we're somewhere else. That's all that. <laughs> and we'll be able to host people. Mm -hmm. We can have like friends come in and, yeah. and we just do like a big like. Oh my gosh, that's like a dream. Okay hey guys, it's much later and we have some activities back here. Do not get, get this it on, on the, the table. table or the chairs. You are going to stain it and I'm going to be mad. No, you're going to stain it and I'm going to be mad. <laughs> okay. Well, it's going to go both ways. Then. I just made these bunny <laughs> bunny cinnamon rolls. I tried. I really wanted to use this dish and I wanted to make these. But I think these are like jumbo ones and yeah, they're supposed to be bunnies. Okay, you guys get it. These are the eggs that we're coloring. Our tray, our little accessories. And then I made this charcuterie board. It's very, I don't know if it's giving or not. These are the colors that I have. So, story time, <laughs> finally. After literally like two seconds of being together, Ryan told me that he loved me. <laughs> no, but it was like you two said weeks. I love you first. Oh, so after like two weeks of Ryan and I dating, Ryan told me that he loved me. Actually, talking, like seeing each other. I was laid up in her bed and I was like, 
I love yeah. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so basically like two weeks into us talking slash hanging out, whatever you want to call it, he told me that he loved me. Pretty much though, how that went down is I was actually laid up in her bed <laughs> and we were like, feeling each other like i'm not trying to get all explicit and stuff but like we were feeling each other but like we knew we didn't want to go that route of like yeah, it was too soon yeah it was too soon and we both were like on the same page of like yo we're feeling each other but like we shouldn't do this i think we both stopped and kind of looked at each other and both knew you know, that like we that didn't thing. want to pursue any farther because we wanted the feelings to be genuine and true um between the both of each other like it wasn't no like it was both very mutual of like, no, I'm in this for you, you're in this for me. I was laying there and I just remember looking at her and it was definitely a, I've never had a feeling of, oh wow, she like really, she really messed with me. Like she's really down with me like that, like that, that we're not like pursuing this any farther. I never had girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Like this is why I always say she was my first girlfriend. Um, she was my first relationship because anybody before that wasn't like, not nothing like that. <laughs> We're just gonna Faith say. Faith is not me. Yeah. Feelings hit me so strong. This is like two weeks after of us seeing each other. Yeah, the feelings were so strong and genuine. It just like came out of me. I remember the way he said it too. Cause he was like, I don't know what I'm feeling, but like I've never felt it before. The only way I can describe it is that I love you. Like that wasn't the way that you said yeah, it. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. And I and I repeated myself. I was like, I love you. Aww. <laughs> and it, it was like, it was like so powerful within myself that I was just like, I've never felt like this before in my life with somebody. Leading up to that, like just the hangout times that we were hanging out, like everything just like flowed so naturally. Was never like able to be comfortable around somebody like that in a very romantic, very loving kind of way. She brought that out of me and. That's what I felt. Three days later, it was Easter. Was it three days later? It was like three days later. Yeah. On Easter, he had all of his family in town. And I was like, at this point, I was like, should I just say it and just like word vomit? Like just say it whenever? Or should I do it in like a cutesy like haha <laughs> way? Whenever we sat down to do eggs, they had like this invisible pen. So like what you would do is like you could write happy Easter on an egg and then dip it and then it would like say happy Easter. Like it, the paint wouldn't go wherever you write. So I was like thinking to myself, I was like, is this cheesy or is this kind of like a good way to do it? I wrote, I love you on the egg and I dipped it and I gave it to him. And he was like, he was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I looked at him. I was like, did you read it? <gasps> do you, like, do you see it? Did like, I was like, did you see it? Then like his face was like, like he like looked up at me so fast. I can't believe this just fell into my hands so easily. Like this girl is my dreams. It was just like a unreal feeling for me. What was it like about me that you felt was like dreamy? Well, when I was a kid, you watch movies, right? The way the, the girl and, and the guys, like I was always into like romantic movies. I'm a romantic, like I'm like, a romantic person I feel like I feel like I like that I'm picturing us kids growing up and then almost like the notebook yeah uh and like the chase to like get her and then just like that feeling from when you watch like movies like the notebook you were that just small town nice light to everybody's life you were came into my life and you like completely changed who I was first egg Done. My dream girl was like to have a girl just like the movies. And that's what you reminded me of. Pull me out of my comfort zone, take me out of my box, girls. Do things that I've never done for, before for somebody. Yeah. You made me want to do romantic things for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, I actually found joy in it. I just It just flowed so easily with us. Yeah. So Remember the first when we went to Walmart and we were going to the party? Yeah. That shit flowed. I remember that like that was yesterday. I know. Oh my gosh. That, I, that's I what reminded me of the movies though. Because we were just like running around Walmart like getting all this stuff like for a party. And then we show up at the party and then me and you duck off and we're sitting on the dock. We're just, me and you are just talking it up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's, that reminded me of the movie. Like how our relationship went about 
reminds me of a movie. That's why nothing ever gets boring between us. We're talking about real life situations. Yeah. Um, which are scary, but at the same time, like, it's not even about it being fun or it being, like, exciting. It's, like, it could be, like, the down times or even some of those times of it feeling like a movie, like, damn, all this shit is happening to us. How we get out of the adversity that we're in together and make, and we are able to make ourselves stronger, that's, like, what you see in movies. When you look at a couple that's going through it and you're thinking on the outside, they're not gonna make it. Uh, from the movie, when you watch a movie, they're not gonna make it. But they do and it's strong. Yeah. Gives you good feeling at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. That's what we have. Yeah. That's what's crazy. It's like we've been yeah. through some shit. That's a good way to put it, yeah. Cause it's like, that is a really good way to put it. Like it, it really is a movie. I never looked at it like that. And we still come out stronger. Yep. I you gonna talk about your body and your exotic no, I'm, looks. I'm we can talk about that too, cause you exotic, about. baby. You belong in a zoo. <laughs> Animal. You a gazelle. <laughs> you a gazelle. I've been saying that to her since seven years ago. Yeah. And she reminded me of a gazelle. You never see those gazelles just leaping through the damn um, on the videos. They just leaping. That's her. All right. What was it that made you want to be with me? Be so secure that it was me. I was the one that you were gonna end up marrying. That I was the one that you were gonna live life with. Yeah, I feel like there's like so many things that like made me be like, okay, like this is different. I think it was. Definitely the way you were able to be my friend first. The way that you cared about me. Those guys run after that and they find that they're friend zoned. But I feel like in a small way, you knew that you weren't, you know? I think like you were hoping that like I would come around. What I'm saying is that I think that it's just the fact that like you were so open to just like hear me out and like nobody had like cared like that about me. That was like the first initial, I have something for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can read that one. <laughs> Love you. Love you. One thing I think we've, we've like recently kind of like realized is that God really was present in our life and we have so many different situations that have happened that we look back on and we're like, wow, God really was in our life. And I feel like what has gotten us through a lot is how much faith we actually had and mm -hmm. not even realizing how we were just following his path and just letting things flow and happen how they were gonna happen. And we just took the risks, but it really wasn't risks. It was him putting things in our head to move forward with what we wanted to pursue in life. That's what I find free. We no, found that we've- It's the craziest thing ever. Recently, I would say we've been having like this- We call this it feeling. an awakening. Yeah, it's but like this. I don't know if that's what it's called. I really, 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 really liked you weren't like really scared to like be who you were. And I liked how like Ryan was like that goofy, just fun type of person because it was like that's how I was. And I feel like honestly with a lot of people, like whether it was relationships or friendships, like I didn't have a lot of people in my life that I could like just like be myself and like be goofy and i think that's like a quality that i never realized that like was important to me until i was that that was the thing with ryan is that there was so many qualities about him that i didn't realize how important they were to me until he was just himself and it made me love him and appreciate him so much more for like who he was and the kind of like guy that he was i think it was just like the the unconditional like the unconditional energy and love that we developed so fast i was just like so surprised that somebody was like so obsessed with me we were but we still are just like all about each other like we could hang out all day i mean we do hang out all day but we're like with each other 24 7 and it like never gets old i have your next hair color what a color is that green that's green I really thought green and yellow made orange. And yeah. you, <laughs> Montana. He's so unintentionally funny. You want me to draw you? Yeah. <laughs> you ruined the yellow, Ryan. What? Let me see. You forgot something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shut up.
show them that. I think you should sell that egg on Etsy. Alright guys, fine. $10 and I'll send it to you.